Shut up and sit down. Speech on water pollution. Water pollution speech for students and children in English. Good morning to everyone present here. A warm welcome to everyone to the forum where I am going to keep my views about a burning topic that is water pollution. Water is one of the natural resources which is essential for living beings on the earth. We humans need water not only to be alive on the earth but also for plenty of other purposes. Human beings use water for cooking, washing, irrigation, fishing, power generation and for many more activities. However, since the last few decades, people are being seen misusing and contaminating natural resources. We are exploiting the natural resource, water as a result of population growth, urbanization, industrialization and technological advancement. So majorly, we can attribute economic growth as one of the factors for water pollution. The primary sources of water pollution are domestic sewage, which has many components which are non-biodegradable like plastics. We flush our untreated and unsegregated domestic waste directly into rivers and oceans, which has resulted in the contamination of water bodies, industrial waste which contains chemical discharges waste to nearby water bodies which have resulted in water pollution. The textile, sugar, chemical, plastic, refineries or every other industry releases some of their byproducts into the rivers and oceans. With the use of fertilizers to increase production in agricultural lands which runs with water to water bodies, contaminate them. Excess nitrates present in fertilizers also slip into the groundwater, resulting in using them unfit for drinking. Now let me tell you how these affect living beings. Polluted water can spread epidemic diseases like cholera, dysentery, typhoid and many more waterborne ailments in humans. Drinking this polluted water has also affected the animals by causing various diseases. Polluted water also affects vegetation by decreasing the fertility of the soil as they destroy the natural microorganism present in the soil. It has mostly affected the marine and freshwater organism as we are mainly contaminating their living surroundings. Even a few species are at the extent of extinction due to pollution. Controlling water pollution has become one of the significant challenges for as majorly we have created the issue by human activities. Ensuring a proper disposal system and disposing of industrial waste after treatment must be compulsory. Our effort must be not to contaminate the water bodies anymore and we must work towards cleaning up of the already contaminated water sources. Optimized use of fertilizers can be done for the vegetation. The government of India has already taken steps like the Cleaning Ganga project. We, being responsible citizens of India, also must work towards the cause by doing every possible thing possible. In the end, I would like to suggest one small step which all of us must practice is stop using plastic. The simple step will make our struggle for the same quite easier. Thank you.